Hey guys, welcome back to Code Commerce. This is the Material UI uh, tutorial course. So let's go ahead and jump back in here. In this video, we're gonna be covering the uh, the uh, floating action button. So basically what you see right here also has a little click effect. We have some icons in there, so pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I just noticed on the checkbox example, I actually put that in my source directory. So let's go ahead and nest that back into the inputs. There we go. And then also let's go ahead and create this one, which is going to be a, um, we can just call it the floating, uh, we'll see here. We'll call it the uh, floating action button. Let's go and rename that there. So we'll say floating, floating, if I can get in here, rename the floating action example.jsx. Okay. Now it's in the right place. RAFC each generate a functional component. Let's check out our app.js here and uh, we'll see, comment that out and we'll grab our floating action example make sure that imports okay so let's have a look go ahead and start your server if you haven't already so we're getting an error there oops oh, i didn't resolve this one so let's see checkbox example we'll say inputs let's go ahead and save okay so kind of cleaning up some errors from the last one there we have it, our floating action example. So let's go in here and let's check this out here. So I'm gonna take a look at the code here and we're using this box, um, this this uh, box component here, which basically is for laying out. So we haven't got to that one yet, but we sure will. So let's go ahead and just copy this right here. We're gonna go ahead and bring that in here. So we'll paste that in there like so. Let's go ahead and save. And this one here, um, you can leave it as a div or just like a fragment. You can just delete it if you'd like as well. So next, let's go ahead and import all this. So let's import the box there from Material UI. We need the fab. There we go. Whoops. Import that fab. There we go from Material UI. The add icon. Um, if, if you're new to this, if you haven't watched the uh, icon video, then you need to install uh, Material Icon um, icons here. So just type npm i mui slash icons dash material just like that um, and that's going to install your icons so just go ahead and type npmi that's not it right there let's go ahead and copy this there we go copy npmi at mui slash icons dash material and that's going to go ahead and install the material icons package for you if you haven't done that already so um, next where were we let's get the uh, edit icon let's see Let's go ahead, that might be it there. Let's go ahead and start our server, npm run dev, just like that. And let's go ahead and import. We're gonna need uh, all of our icons there. So let's go ahead and just grab all of these. So we'll have these here. All right. And let's go ahead and have a look. There we have it. So we have our buttons and by default relegate, you can see it has this nice click effect on all the buttons, just as, as you would expect. Um, you can see we have our icons in there as well. Um, let's see what else we can do. We can also disable these just like that one's disabled. If you want to disable this first one, you can say disabled just like that. And that's going to kind of gray out this first one. So it's unclickable. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Let's have a look at our code here. So you can see pretty short um, documentation here for the floating action buttons. We can change the size here just as we did in the other ones. So this first one, which is actually disabled, we can just go ahead and say, we'll say size uh, small, just gonna be like a string in there and that's gonna shrink it down a little bit. Um, yeah, size small. Oh, I put that on the box. That's why it was working. Let's go ahead and cut, cut that out and we'll actually put that on the, uh, the fab there, okay? so floating action button there. So it makes it a little bit smaller. Um, I believe the default is a uh, medium. So let's go ahead and grab this oversized medium. So let's go ahead and post that in there. Shouldn't see, oh yeah, there you go. By default, I guess it's large. So the medium is a little bit smaller. Um, if you change it back to large, you can see it kind of increases in size a little bit. So that's the sizing uh, attribute there. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it there. You can add some things right here. Um, this is some extra functionality we'll get to here in a little bit, but that's how you can use the floating action buttons in Material UI. So on to the next one. The next one's gonna be the radio example.